If you've ever wondered how your favorite creators are making awesome travel reels like these ones, or even mini vlogs or day in the lives like these, well, in today's video, I'm showing you how you can easily edit these in just a matter of minutes. And you'll be surprised at how easy it is when you follow this step-by-step -step process. So step one, you wanna make sure you have a video as inspiration. So here we have Q Mike. He recently came out with this New York video. You can see it's a great travel reel. It's got loads of different shots. So it's a great example. Here, if we also check out Lo, we can see that he's just created a mini vlog. It's got, again, loads of different shots, good music. So overall, a great example video. Now, step two, once you have your reference video, you wanna go ahead and download this. So if you're downloading on TikTok, you wanna use snaptick.app. And if you're downloading on Instagram, you can use igram.io. And you'll see why you're downloading it in just a minute, but just a little hint or an insider. If you are using Premiere Pro as your editor, then you're gonna love me so much because I'm gonna show you an editing hack, which is gonna make you recreate these videos in literally two to three minutes max, which is absolutely crazy. So once you have them, go ahead and open up your editing software. Like I said, I'm using Premiere Pro. You then wanna go ahead and create your sequence timeline because you're posting this on Instagram or TikTok, you need the correct sequence. So go ahead, go to your settings, make sure your time base is either 25 or 30, then your horizontal is 1080, vertical is 1920, creates a nine by 16 aspect ratio. You can give your sequence a name if you want or press okay. You can see you now have your standard phone or TikTok format. And then what you want to do from here is a drag and drop video that you've just downloaded. So now typically what you would need to do is scrub through this entire video frame by frame and actually press M every time you see a cut and then you'd need to cut and replace it, all of that. And that just takes way too long. But the thing is, if you're editing with Premiere Pro, there's actually a secret way to do this completely automatically for you. And that is just to select this clip and then right click, go to scene, edit detection, then do apply cut at each point, press analyze, and in about two seconds, one, two, you can see that Premiere Pro has now automatically applied a cut to every single new cut or new piece of footage that is detected. So that's absolutely amazing. So I'm pretty sure you can guess what you need to do from here. All you have to do is grab all of your footage that you have. For example, I just downloaded a bunch of stuff from Pixels then drag that onto your timeline. And then all you have to do is just bring in all of these clips and then you just have to replace them at each detected point, just like this. So if I go ahead and zoom out, bring all of these clips in, just like that. You can see like it's literally taking me two seconds to edit this reel for you. I'm not gonna do all of it because I haven't got enough clips, but boom, you can see in just a few seconds, let's end it right here and we'll go ahead and press play. You can see where we have a video, a travel reel edited in literally two seconds or 20 seconds. Another quick tip is if you wanna add transitions, you can download a free plugin called Premiere Composer and they have a bunch of awesome transitions like zoom in, zoom out, it's completely free to use, free to download. And then boom, you can see that I've just added a zoom in transition. If we bring that in, you can see how smooth this actually is. Like it's not one of those rubbish zoom in transitions or zoom out transitions. It does a super awesome job, which is why I really like it. And the best part is it's free. So once you've done that, you're pretty much good to go. You just finish editing this for you. And then what I like to do is color grade it. So I actually create an adjustment layer and then I pop this adjustment layer on top of everything on my video. And then I just apply a color grade, which I've already created just like that. And that applies it to every single clip. I have here. Once you've done that, you of course want to export your video to the highest quality. So I do have a separate video which you can click up up here or down here. And I also have some export presets that you can actually download in the description down below. But essentially, you wanna go ahead and press Control M. You then wanna apply your custom Reels export settings so you have the highest quality, then press Export and you're all good to go. You've successfully created a travel reel or a mini vlog, and then you're good to go. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video, and if you did, smash that like button, and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video.